There was uh, three national response teams. Uh, I was on one of those teams and was uh, was deployed in direct support of 9-11. And I led uh, both the GIS and, and the remote sensing missions. I arrived about uh, a week into it and immediately picked up and, and began supporting FEMA, um, as well as supporting urban search and rescue in a separate facility um, at the Jacob Javits Convention Center. There was a lot going on if you were you know, had been in the field or been in this business for a bit, it was like you kind of just needed to be there. I think I will always remember the smell, and that's something that uh, I cannot describe in any way, shape, or form. The impact personally on me with the 9-11 event was, you know, a long-term commitment to this mission. Um, I'm still, you know, here working in the space. Uh, I worked for worked with and for uh, urban search rescue and field during 9-11, uh, and I'm still have projects today. We have, we're leading the SARCOP project uh, for mapping solutions, tracking uh, staff, uh, tracking search status, all those kinds of things. Um, and that's a direct follow-on for me from the search and rescue work that we did at 9-11. We're all using the same platform with uh, with SARCOP, uh, whether they're feds or state teams. Um, and, and just that is bringing about a, a continuity in communications and in planning, um, and is bringing people into the theater in supporting disasters kind of on a common platform. Everybody already knows what they're doing. They're not having to learn something new um, in the heat of that response. I really find the fulfilling aspects of, of my work being that connection to, you know, the community and the country. I really enjoy the public service aspect of the work I'm doing. I'm really, you know, helping to drive the future and and helping to assist, um, you know, those missions that I worked 20 years ago uh, and, and to help to improve kind of their their futures and their their paths forward.